Welcome back. It's 412. New York City area residents are shaken up after a 4.8 magnitude hit that state today. The U.S. Geological Survey reporting that the quake was centered near Lebanon, New Jersey. No initial reports of major damage or any injuries at this time. The quake caught many by surprise. Not used to seeing quakes in that part of the country. Earthquakes don't happen every day in New York. Uh, so this can be extremely traumatic. The number of texts, calls, and inquiries uh, that people uh, sent out to not only our administration, but to family members checking on them. Uh, we know how this can impact you. And caught on camera, the earthquake also disrupted a United Nations meeting in New York City. A speaker addressing the Security Council when it happened. That meeting resumed shortly after. Education is so joining us now to talk more about this and just how rare it is, is Stephanie Sitt. Stephanie is a clinical associate professor of Earth and Environmental Sciences at University of Illinois Chicago. Thank you so much, Professor, for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I grew up in Southern California, Professor, and there are a number of fault lines that are well known to us there. Um, I'm uh, imagining that for New Yorkers and those in Philly and those in that part of the eastern seaboard, this caught a lot of people off guard. So the first question and the obvious one, uh, how rare was this event? Um, certainly on the east coast, um Earthquakes are very infrequent, um, unusual, um, definitely causes a stir and, a, and maybe a fright for, for many people on the East Coast. Um, so while they're not totally unexpected, they are fairly rare. Mm -hmm. um, it's not an, a place of active tectonics. Um, you said that you grew up in Southern California. I'm sure you're used to um, many earthquakes and, are, and have a prepared um, response when you, when you hear feel one. Right. Yeah, well, you know, we um, we would expect it more likely in the Midwest, right? Because don't we live in a fault area as well? And they, not so much. Mm, okay, so Western Coast, we think about as California, Oregon, and Washington. Mm -hmm. Those are areas of active tectonics. That's where we have a lot of friction building up between plates. So that's where we expect most of our earthquakes. Here, um, and with the East Coast, we're considered interplate, intraplate. So we're in the middle of sort of a stable piece of continental crust. So we don't expect a lot of earthquakes here or on the East Coast. You might be thinking of um, Southern Illinois, where there is a little bit of a fault area that is studied called the New Madrid seismic zone. Um, and there they think there was some like past tectonic history that might be settling a little bit. That said, before we run out of time, Professor, uh, there are those who might find themselves inexplicably on vacation or visiting family or friends in a situation where they encounter an earthquake for the very first time. I've, I've spoken to people and it's terrifying. I remember the first time I encountered a tornado. I didn't know what I was dealing with. What's your advice to somebody who finds themselves in that situation for the very first time? Yeah, in the U.S., we recommend to stop, drop, and cover. So similar to what you might uh, do during a tornado. Um, so try to get underneath a, um, a large desk, um, cover cover your head, um, things like that. All right, Professor Stephanie said, you're very interesting to listen to. We could we'll have to come back to talk to you about other things. I feel like I, I learned a good lesson here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.